Hello everyone, DJ Collectibles 99 here, and today we will be taking a look at the limited edition Elena doll from Elena of Avalar. Be sure to stay tuned to see all the details that she has to offer. This Elena doll was totally unexpected by Disney. I am super shocked yet super happy that they've made it. Um, I know that she wasn't super popular because she wasn't, you know, technically a part of the official princess lineup and didn't really have her own movie. It was based off the Disney Junior TV show, which was based for younger audiences. But I love her representation in the show, even though it's kind of based towards a younger audience. And they do have really good story content there, though. And I love her as a character, so I ended up going for her. And she's super stunning. There's not a lot of details that are shown in, you know, like the promo pictures. Just because, you know, it doesn't really show up well sometimes. But she is super amazing, I think. And all the embroidery is super awesome and worth the price. So I hope that I can, if you're unsure, convince you that she is super, super amazing. So starting with the face... I think they captured her very well, and I absolutely love her simple makeup, and eyebrows are super cool. I absolutely love it. Her crown is super gorgeous. It's like this gold color, and it has a lot of really pretty gems on it, and it looks very accurate to her coronation tiara, which is super, super awesome. And her hair has the beautiful curly side bang type deals from her middle part, which is really accurate. I absolutely love her ponytail style in the movie or in the TV show. It is super, super pretty. And I actually like really am happy that they made it a Disney princess with a ponytail because that's kind of cool. And then... She has her earrings, which are super pretty, and they have two gemstones in them. I absolutely love them. And then, I really think this is a really cute part of the doll. So in her ponytail, she has a shorter little curl right here that they left hanging out, like in the cartoon. It's super cute. I love that. Love the little detail there because they could have just did one long ponytail, but I'm glad that they didn't. And going to the bodice, you can see that there are some details of embroidery on the top part. She has an off the shoulder look and you can see that there's gems and the gems are actually uniform in a swooping pattern to kind of create a look. To me, it kind of looks like um, a stitched version of how Belle's dress has a sash that swoops down. I feel like it's kind of emulating that a little bit in gem form rather than a sash. And it works its way all the way around to the front and to the back as well. And I like how it's stitched in like this type of sweetheart neckline right here. Super cool. And then it's really plain right here, but I feel like they made it really plain because there's like this bow in the back that's really dramatic and I feel like if they were to put more detail here it would have um, hid, it, hid the bow a little. So I feel like this simple part right here definitely is fine and makes for the bow that I'll show you in a minute. As you can see the bow actually like attaches right here and I think you can take it off. It's not attached to the dress itself but I, I wouldn't. I think it looks really really pretty. And she has another piece of jewelry, which is super cool. And it is a bracelet, which is gold and has blue gems going all the way around it. And if you watch the show, she carries this magic scepter around with her. And it is super stunning. I like how instead of a painted gem, we got one ginormous gem on the top of it, which is super cool. And I love that it has smaller gems going all the way around the base of the scepter. And it has even more gems at the bottom here. And I think the sculpting is super nice and very detailed. It's very, very pretty. 
Now for the base of the dress, I know a lot of people were arguing that in the animation she has a lot fuller of a dress, which I can agree, but it does have quite a full look and I feel like um, maybe if another petticoat was added it would have a little bit more fuller of a look. I know there's a big petticoat under here, you just have to fluff it up a little bit sometimes to get a more fuller look but still the details are super amazing. I love that right here, it has the folded over look like in the animation and there's embroidery going all the way down the folds, which is super pretty, as well as gems, like seen on the top part of her bodice. And it just kind of, I like the draping, it looks really nice. It's not stitched or anything, it's just one solid piece that goes all the way around and then folds like so and then you can see there's another layer around the same color that they put underneath and then underneath here is the petticoat and actually while we're underneath here I can show you the shoes the shoes are like this very simple gold heel design and they have blue gems on them which is super cute so very cute simple but detailed shoes and then you can just see when I turn her to the side here all the detail of embroidery that is on this doll it is so beautiful and you can see the swooping design again with the gems goes all the way around super beautiful the colors of her um, dress reminds me a lot of um, from Spanish type of cultures where they use like turquoises and golds and everything. And I, I actually saw these color patterns a lot um, when watching the movie Coco. They had a lot of turquoises and pinks and everything in their decorations for the Day of the Dead, which I think is really cool that they um, used this for her dress. And then for the dramatic part of her dress, we have the bow, which is super big in the back. And then it has the ribbon hanging all the way down and actually drapes past her dress and lands on the ground, which is super, super pretty. This is why I'm so happy that I deboxed this because in the box, you barely even see any part of the bow at all. And when she's deboxed, you see the full thing, and it's just super long, dramatic, and beautiful. And then, of course, you see her hair is actually pretty long. It goes down past her back, which is super, super cool. But yeah, she's definitely very detailed, and I know that the, um, the promo photos didn't really show it too much, but I absolutely love her. She is so super detailed when you uh, get her in person and she's just a very 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 beautiful doll so I think that's all and I think that she's just really amazing and I really hope that if you were unsure about getting her that this helps you change your mind about her because she really is worth adding into your collection I absolutely love all the details and I'm a huge fan of the embroidery it's amazing so I think that's all, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.